This technique of matching specific colors clip by clip is really good for commercials or if you have anything that has branding. If you work with, let's say, a car company or anything that every clip, the car needs to be the same color or an object needs to be the same color, this technique works really well. I have three clips here, this girl at the car. I did a quick grade, so I added my CSTs, Black Magic to DaVinci, DaVinci to Rec 709. I added contrast to her. I balanced the shot. Obviously everything is blown out. So I recovered the highlights. I then added a mask around her and the car, brought her out a bit with the mask, and then I took some heat off her shoe. So this video is not about the grain. It's just I need it at a certain point to show you this technique I use. I did the same with the next clip, got it here, and then the next clip, same thing. So all three of them are now in the same world. Let's imagine this was a car commercial and the car is the subject and it needs to be a certain color. The first technique that I like to use is the color warper. I'm going to talk about two techniques and you'll use either or depending on the footage that you have and I'll explain that in a second. So the color warper, let's say this isn't the exact color that we want. I'm going to click on this. It's going to tell me where this color falls, right? It's here. And I feel like this car has too much deviation of different color. What I'll do is take this guy and this guy and just kind of push it together. That means colors that are very close to it are going to get pushed in the same direction to be uniform. So let's see what, what change did that do. Okay, look at the car here. It's a subtle change, but it's very noticeable. Like that's before, that's after. It's taking all the blues and kind of pushing it more cyan. So now the color of your car has changed and all you have to do is you copy that, you add a node and you paste it. Very important, it has to be between your CSTs. After you use the color warp on this clip, all you need to do is you go to your second one, you add the color warper here and you add the color warper here. So look at this guy. It's changing, it's subtly changing, but it's changing. So when you do this, your car is going to be the same color in each shot. I might even go back here and kind of like darken it a bit, kind of match it a bit better. Yeah, it feels better. Okay, now you have your color warper, right? So you can push that color in any type of direction. Here is the catch with this guy. Let's say I want to change the color completely. Kind of want to really make it teal. So I'm taking all these quadrants and pushing it together. See what's happening here? Because it's also affecting that blue. So when you do this, you can definitely change the color of the car, but your blues now are also going to change because obviously these are pretty close to each other. So I use this technique either to change the color completely and understand it will change the look of my project and I'm okay with it, or I use it in a minimal way to kind of just get those colors closer together. So let's start over and that's there. I kind of just want this quadrant and this quadrant to be closer. Because when I start playing with this guy, it's gonna affect the blues a lot. Even just affecting this is affecting this a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's also very important to what type of footage you're working with because this is 422. You can't push it too far before it breaks. If you have Rec 709, you kind of like in big trouble. But if you're working with RAW, it gives you more latitude to manipulate the colors. So we'll just do that again. We'll copy that color warper to here and to here. So that's technique one. I use the color warper. Technique two, which I like more, but you can only use it in certain types of projects. And I'll show you why technique two you can't actually use in this project. I did the same with these shots. So let's say it's these shots. It's like a car, going back to a car commercial. I added CST, did a bit of contrast, balance, and I pulled down the reds because it was clipping here. So I just pulled it down a bit and CST. So very basic no tree. And I did the same thing here. This actually doesn't have to be there. This is also reds. CST, contrast, get the balance, pull down the reds, CST. Now the other way is keying the specific color range and then using a tool called color compressor where you compress all those pixels into a certain color. And with that one, if you can manage it on your project, it'll be an exact match. Every clip with this technique will have exact colors, which I really like, because you don't really have to, you know, try and match it with your eye. Is it a little bit off? Is it a little bit on? Color compressor is 100% all the time, but your key has to be good. The reason keying or the second technique works with this one is there's red, there's blue, there's yellow. There's a lot of different types of colors in your shots. I can't really use the keying technique here because this blue 
of this car is way too close to these blues and greens to get a solid key off this and then compressing all those at a certain color is you're going to run into a lot of problems you're going to run into keying problems so again with this one i majority would use the color warper but if you have a shot where there's a lot of difference in your project like your subject is a completely different color than any type of surroundings this one is the one to go keying how we always do is cst so we're not going to key off this node tree we're going to create a new one this is red i'm going to push it into rec 709 i'll show you what it looks like this is the starting i create another node just to separate the colors even more to kind of add exposure and a bit of separation so that when you pull the key the key is as clean as can be the keying part i'm going to key out this entire car i'm focusing on the red obviously and then i'm combining it i'm pushing this key to this node here and this node is the color compressor and how you do this is i'll just reset this just to show you i'll go color compressor pop it in here i'm gonna pull this key here now with this color compressor is awesome if you can have a good key because i can literally change this into any color I can either pick color on this car and say, I want all the pixels or all this red to have the same hue and saturation. I normally don't do the saturation because it kind of like flattens out your image. A majority of the time I just work with hue. Another way you can use it is, let's say we want to change this red to something completely different, or at least let's say a variation of red. You click on this guy and this will pop up. And you can literally just push it in any direction you want. But you have to make sure that your compressing hue is at 100. So let's go back there. Now, da -da -da, I have a green car. I have a purple car. I have a tealy car. So this is awesome. But your key needs to be solid. If your key isn't good, it's going to start looking weird. You can even see, if you really zoom in here, just say OK here. If you really zoom in here, you can kind of see there's still a bit of red there. So in a jam, you can change it to any color. I don't really like changing it to any color. I like changing it to, if it's shot as red, it's just a variation of red because if your key isn't 100%, if it's a variation of red, you still have leeway. You won't see mistakes in it. But if you turn it completely into a different color, anything your key doesn't grab isn't going to change. So you'll definitely visibly be able to see it. So we're going to go back. And I'm just gonna make this a different shade of red. The nice thing about this as well is like if you have brand colors, you can just type in a hex code. These are the brand colors and it'll change it. So let's let's go here, let's go on and off. Okay, so let's go okay. So it went from a more like pinky red to more like a muted orange red. And let's say that's the color that I want. All I do is I repeat this process. I go to the next one, CST, do my separation, I do my keying, key it, make sure your key is good, important. You copy your color compression node from here to here because obviously you want the colors to be similar or actually exact. And you change the red from that red to this red. And now both of the colors are identical. And that's it. You just repeat this process of keying, color compression on every clip that your car is on. And then in your entire project, all your objects or your subject will have the same color.